Retired Army Sergeant Christopher Kurtz got the keys to his mortgage-free, specially adapted smart home, all made possible by the Gary Sinise Foundation, founded by actor and humanitarian Gary Sinise. We're here today to celebrate the, uh, the home of Sergeant Kurtz and his family. Sergeant Kurtz served in the Army. Um, he was impacted by an IED explosion overseas in Afghanistan. And we are here today to provide him a home, to he and his wife and their family. A beautiful home out here in Tennessee. It's a gorgeous day today. And we're so excited to celebrate this with he and his family. So when Gary wanted us to execute on this mission of providing these homes to veterans, we wanted to make it as customable and tailorable for them and their family. So when you go inside the home, you're gonna see countertops that lowered. You're gonna see a Dutch oven that opens a certain way. You're gonna see a sink where they can wheel up with their wheelchair to have access. You can go to the bathroom and see how it's easier for them to get around because there's a lot of wheelchair considerations. Several people showed up for the unveiling of the Kurtz family's new home, and many gave speeches about how his story has made an impact on them. In 2010, Kurtz was serving in the 101st Airborne Division in Afghanistan when an improvised explosive device went off nearby, shooting Kurtz about 60 feet in the air and causing the amputation of both of his legs above the knee, as well as two of his fingers on his left hand. It's a, a bit overwhelming sometimes when you think about it, it's like how much went into it, how many people put their hands on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's very humbling, it's like completely amazing. It's like, now I owe the world. <laughs> this day was special for more than one reason, as it also marks the day that him and his wife, Heather, got married 10 years ago. Talk about an anniversary present. With Clarksville Now, I'm Angela Peterson.